All right, guys, how's it going? Today, we're gonna do a quick video on the knight. One of the better early game classes, I would say. It does kind of fall off a little bit mid late game once you get access to white knights, but knight is still really good nonetheless. And there is one thing a knight can do that a white knight cannot do, and that is phalanx. Phalanx reduces HP damage taken by 70% until next turn. It's an auto ability. All right, so we're going to go into the quick overview. What weapons can a knight use? A knight can use a hammer, an axe, a sword, one-handed, and a crossbow. So based on these weapon choices, you have a few options. Uh, some people, what they will do is they will bring in a knight with a crossbow, which that is, that is a viable thing. There is nothing wrong with that because that allows you to kind of cherry pick and like chip away at further enemies if you're holding the front line or something or hit enemies that are a little bit out of your range. And the crossbow finishers are really, really, really good. Uh, crossbow finishers are almost always better than bow finishers, by the way. So, um, Some people might not agree with that, but if you try to use them both, you'll find a lot more success and higher damage and viability with crossbow finishers compared to bow. Now, we got our standard HP and MP buffs. We have pincer attack, standard rampant, rampart aura which extends an aura around your character. Enemies cannot move more than one through it, so it slows down a front line, holds a front line, really good. Uh, Sanctuary prevents undead from entering within four tiles immediately adjacent to the unit. And then your charms, you got the recruit command. We got Sanctuary Shadow and Rampart Aura, or create a shadow caster with Rampart Aura. So what, what these do, the shadows, Basically, it creates another unit of the knight that's like a shadow. It just sits there. Kind of like a blocker or something in the way. Um, Sanctuary is like whatever, okay. But the one with Rampart Aura is really nice because you actually create another unit that can block a choke point or hold a line to slow enemies down and force them to uh, take a little bit of effort to get through. Or they just kill the shadow. But these are very nice in certain situations. Um... They do cost a lot of MP, which is one of the major downsides to them. I, some people use them, I'm sure. I've used them a couple times. I just, unless you're in an indoor map with like funnels and stuff, I mean, nine times out of 10, just the MP cost alone doesn't make it worth it. But then again, I mean, what MP are you using on your knight? Oh, you're using your finishers, of course. So I would rather use the MP on a finisher. This is almost two finishers. Either one of these is almost two finisher attacks. And none of these do damage, you know? So that's kind of how I feel about the shadow spells. Then we have Guardian Force, which can be very useful if you're in a congested area and everybody's kind of on top of each other in a cluster. Uh, redirect 50% of the damage taken by units within two tiles. So if you have squishier units around your knight and they're getting targeted by the enemy, the knight will take 50% of the damage they take. So you can utilize that to do a lot of neat little things with protecting your back line. Um, a lot of those AOE spells that wizards get, sorcerers get, um, things like that that can just kind of cause chaos to a group of units. He can absorb the damage and really help protect them and keep them going. And then, like I said, we got Phalanx at the beginning of the game, which Phalanx is amazing. 70% reduced damage until next turn. Super good. If this can proc a lot, you can be sitting pretty. So... There's a couple ways to build a knight, and a knight is by no means bad, but like I said at the beginning of the video, a knight does fall off kind of mid-game, late-game when you get access to white knight, which kind of does everything that the knight does and more a little bit, but a knight isn't, like, useless, and it's not like you need to stop using them, because like I said, ramp, this is what the, this is the knight's unique ability, phalanx. Only the knight gets this. White knight... As far as I know, doesn't get this. Um, White Knight gets an ability that reduces the RT of like friendly units, which is super, super good, by the way. Uh, when I get to the White Knight video, that'll be a topic of good discussion. But yeah, there's a, there's a few ways. You know, you got a few different weapon builds you can do. Defensive builds, offensive builds, pincer attack builds. There's a lot of variety with the Knight. I'm not saying the Knight's bad by all. I'm just saying, there are so many classes in this game. You eventually got to pick and choose to a certain degree what you're going to use, what you're not going to use. And a knight is an easy one to rule out, especially when you get a white knight. But 
do keep in mind the knight is tankier than the white knight. The knight has better defenses, higher vitality overall usually. Um, so that's that's something to consider. But knight is a great class. I recommend running them until you get to white knight. Or, you know, I've always ran with about one. You could probably run two knights. Um, I use, like, terror knights to also hold my front line. My terror knight kind of became my knight. Because um, terror knight is so good with the fright debuff and everything. And terror knights are just phenomenal. I, I really like them. So what I would normally do is I'd run two, one or two terror knights, one knight. And that would kind of be my front line. And like I said, now that I have access to white knights and stuff, I do two white knights, a terror knight. Sometimes two white knights and two terror knights to hold the front. Um, and it's just, it's nasty. It's nasty. And let's not forget, the knight has healing abilities. Um, if you don't want to bring a cleric, which I dog on clerics a lot. They're, I, they're good, but I feel like a lot of people will bring a cleric all the time because they don't want to get items or use items and they're really trying to save money. But bring a knight. A knight can heal just as good as a cleric. I mean, heal two on a knight. I, I tested it. A heal two on a knight and a heal two on a cleric is the same hp by like five maybe ten it's not even that significant now the only downside is a knight isn't going to be able to spam heal like a cleric can you know like a cleric can spam heal to a degree pretty much every turn so but that's going to do it for the knight i mean there's your skill overview your uh ability finisher you know uh it doesn't get a lot of this like all it gets is healing you know you don't really you can't use a lot of the other uh divine magic spells unfortunately but these guides are just meant to be like a quick little thing mid game you know this isn't a full complete overview because we're missing tons of skills we're missing tons of abilities um those are going to come down the line once we get level cap or get towards level cap and have most stuff unlocked for a class we'll even have like those videos will go over multiple sample builds you can do um this is just get new people players their feet wet kind of an idea of a build that might work what to do what things do what works good what doesn't work good so i appreciate everybody's love and support on all these videos you guys have been amazing it's the reception of these videos has been phenomenal i can't thank you guys enough for those of you that have found my channel and decided to support it and just by subbing and watching the videos it means so much to me guys you guys are amazing these videos are going to keep going as much as i can I'm going to try to put out as many as I can a day. It might slow down to like one or two instead of three every day. But I, I greatly appreciate it, guys. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. You guys are awesome. This game is awesome. Let's all let's all learn it together and keep figuring stuff out because I am by no means a master. I am no means the best Tactics Ogre player ever. There's stuff I don't know, stuff I might get wrong. Feel free to correct me if it is, and I will update videos or fix it so we all have a good degree of information on the game. Thank you all again, and I will see you in the next one. Later. Peace.